Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how I determine when to deploy a grid trading bot. And I will be configuring and deploying a bot by the end of this video on the Bitscap platform. And if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is an all-in-one trading platform that allows you to actually connect your exchanges via API keys. And you can actually use their trading terminal to place live trades. They also offer an arbitrage feature, a signals feature. They have demo trading, so you can actually try out your strategies before you deploy them to live fire. And today I'll be utilizing the platform to deploy a grid bot. Now, as far as the initial investment to get started, I will leave a link in the description down below and you can actually get started for free using my link. You'll get a 14 day trial and because you use my link, it'll be the pro version of their subscriptions. And that is the subscription that I'll be using today. And then after your 14 day free trial, you can start with the basic package for a $19 a month investment. And that'll allow you to deploy two active grid bots. Now that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring and deploying this bot. And today I'll be deploying a bot on AMPL USDT on the Qcoin exchange. And I'll be using their SBOT grid strategy, which is a high efficiency bot that generates maximum returns within your investment limits. It's the bot I most frequently select when I deploy their grid bots. Now, before I just deploy a bot on any random currency pair, there has to be a reason for deploying the bot. Now, in this case, I day trade this particular pair and I'm very familiar with the price action. So what I was looking for, if I jump back over to the trading terminal, is a couple different factors. I look for something that's consolidating or has recently sold off. But rather than trying to catch a falling knife, I want to see a reversal in this sell off. And what will confirm that for me are a couple different indicators. And another benefit of the Bitsgap platform is you get the trading view charting software and you can actually save different chart setups. Now, in this case, I have RSI and an EMA on this particular chart. So what I'm looking for out of the indicators on RSI, I'm looking at oversold and I can see it gets oversold a couple times on this way down. However, it continues to go down. So rather than jumping in, I need the RSI to actually be moving back up. I want it to cross the 30 level. And you can see it actually does cross the 30 level a couple times. However, as a confirmation of recovery, I deploy an EMA on the nine period and I want to actually see it close when it crosses. So we see a cross right here. When it crosses, I want to see it close above the EMA and it does not do that here. It actually closes below it. And then the next time on down the line, again, it does not close above. The next cross does not close above, just on it. It's got to close above it. And then it rolls over and continues to sell off. It bounces off of the 30 level, still not getting above that 9 EMA. Now I got it to cross above and close above. And now it's starting to hold above that 9 EMA. And now we're holding well above the 30 RSI. And with that intel, I'm now more comfortable that this sell-off, in theory, may be coming to an end. So now when we jump back over to the bot dashboard on Ample USDT, I need to now determine my upper and my lower price. So now I'm going to go back and check my six and look back at prior resistance for my upper level and prior support for my lower level. And again, since I do day trade this, I'm pretty familiar with its price action movements, but I'm going to go ahead and scan a ways back. And I can already see besides this upper price level as resistance, other resistance levels that I might look at. Like for instance, here is a resistance level that has me interested. And I can go this tight on my upper level because of the trailing up feature that Bitscap actually offers. And with this feature enabled, it will actually allow the bot to follow the price action up, even though it exceeds the upper price level. 
And so it will continue to follow the price up and rebuild the grids around the new higher price levels. So I'm already thinking I'm going to bring this down into this area here for starters. Now my lower level, I do see some support in this region. And I think I'll actually jump over to the four hour candles. Now I've been day trading this pair for a while. So I actually already have a pretty good idea where I'm going to want to put my lower level at. But if we look at the four hour chart, you can see some support in this region here. So I could have a pretty tight grid there. And that puts me at around a 76 cent level. Now if I drop down into this region, which I see longer term support at, we pull that up into this region around 60 cents. And I can actually adjust that over here to make it 60 cents. That's actually a level. If it broke through that level, I'd be a bit concerned. So I'm going to set up the lower level at the 60 cents for the moment. Now I might tweak that when we get into the grid spacing. All right. So I have my upper level set now and my lower level set. So now I need to determine my grid spacing and my number of grids. So I'm going to throw in a number here of 70 grids. That gives me a grid spacing of 0.63%. Now I'm going to go a little higher to 90 with this grid spacing. You can see this box turns red and it cannot place 90 grids within the price range to start the bot. And so by dialing in my grid spacing, rather than trying to guess on the grid levels, I just dialed it in to 0.49%. Now I have my 80 grid levels as a total number of grid levels. Now, if you're new to grid bot trading, what you're looking for is when the price action moves down, your bot is buying at lower prices. And when the price action moves back up, your bot is selling for a profit at higher prices. And that is indicated by these little green targets are your buy orders as the price was moving down. And then these little red targets are the sell orders as the price moved up and profit was being taken. Now, if we look at the current grid, I'm working on each one of these red lines and each one of these green lines represents a limit order. The red line is a sell limit order and the green lines are buy limit orders. And what your bot is waiting for is the price action to either move up or down to fill one of these buy or sell limit orders. And in this case, my grid spacing is the space between each one of these lines or the grid. And so I've got 0.49% between each grid. So on the way up, I would be taking profit at 0.49%. And on the way down, I would be buying in each time the price action retreated 0.49%. And again, if the price action were to breach this upper price level, I have the trailing up feature enabled and it will follow that price action up and rebuild this grid on the move up. Next, we have two optional features. One is take profit and that feature would allow you to exit the bot and basically sell the position if a certain percentage was achieved like a 5% profit it would shut your bot down. I don't typically deploy bots with a take profit so I'm not going to enable that feature. Next is the stop loss feature. Now I do utilize stop losses. Elite traders utilize stop losses. If we see a flash crash like for instance on XRP back when the SEC file had a filing against them I had a stop loss in place. I got stopped out before that flash crash bottomed out. I saved a lot of money by having a stop loss in place. So with that being said, I'm just going to set up a stop loss to try to prevent bigger losses than necessary. And if the price of Ample goes below 5150 in this case, and again, part of the reason I can throw a stop loss in here is I'm familiar with how this pair trades. And if we hit down below this level, that's a red flag. I want out and I want to regroup and come up with a new battle plan. Now with all my settings in place, the next thing I needed to do is determine how much ammo I'm going to give this bot. And so I'll use a little slider bar and it allows me to 
determine the amount I want to give the bot and I can actually slide it over and once the box turns red that means I don't have enough dedicated in this case zero obviously would not be enough dedicated now for this particular bot I know I'm going to give it five hundred dollars and it shows me the breakout when I deploy the bot I will need 170 ample to fulfill these sell orders and 329 USDT to fulfill these buy orders now with all those settings in place I'm ready to back test it now keep in mind back test results do not guarantee future results it's just more recon to help you understand your strategy and whether or not it could be profitable and if I look at the results it looks like it would be profitable so that's good enough for me and the last thing to do at this point is deploy the bot so I hit the start button and it gives me a notice to start this bot it's necessary to buy 171.67 ample and that is in order to fulfill those limit orders on the red lines on the way up so yes I do want it to buy the ample and now the bot has made its order for the ample market order has been filled and now I have a live bot and the grid lines are starting to fill in and that pretty much wraps it up I will be doing an update video in the near future on this bot so now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button if you like this video do me a favor and spike a like if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those in the comment section down below I will leave a link to Bitscap in the description down below and in closing remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video